Hi there, this is Anne Castro, creator of The Bird School. I have been talking a lot about Lila, my little handicapped green wing macaw girl that has moved in with me a few months ago. And this is actually a photo of her four days after she has moved in with me. She moved in on January 4th. With the move of two of my other green wing macaws from the special needs area, my bedroom, into the bird hall, I now have a bit more time to work with Lila and I wanted to show you our progress. This is a little clip taken with my iPhone, which I'm obviously holding the wrong way around, <laughs> about 10 days ago, actually on, on September 10th to be precise, um, shows that she allows me to touch her, but she is still really wary about it and uh, holds herself back, doesn't really interact with me that much. She tolerates it, but not really that much more. She doesn't even really seem to enjoy it hugely. Her body is quite twisted from her handicap, so it's a little bit more difficult to read her body language, but you can tell how she's not totally relaxed. She's a little bit tense and then gradually she gets a little bit more into it and, you know, gets a little bit more soft in her posture. Which you can really see nicely here. All of a sudden she goes, ha, and she takes her head down and, you know, gets all round. That's a, that's a nice sign of relaxation. So anyhow, this was 10 days ago and I wanted to show you how we're doing this morning. Well, I'm sure you could see the absolutely remarkable difference in only 10 days. She is now soliciting my attention. She lets me even handle her handicapped foot, which was a perfect no-go beforehand. And, uh, you know, just the way she looks at me, she's really interacting, which is amazing to see. I just love it. Huh? Can I see your foot, baby? Good girly, Whirly. You're such a good girl. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you to tears by showing you another half hour of baby talk, but I think uh, it's sufficient to show how much more comfortable she is with me now. But what I will do is uh, cut out some excerpts for you, which in my opinion show you some highlights of what you really should be paying attention to. Look at those eyes. We're talking ecstasy here. <laughs> She's really enjoying this. You, my little girly. Okay, this is me playing with her tongue. For some reason, all my calls love to have their tongue stroke. Don't ask me why, but they all do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Catch your bird doing something that you like and reward it. Yeah! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! What you see here is Lila soliciting my attention. She knows I get pretty excited when she lifts her wings for me and I sort of, you know, go in this very exciting voice, pretty bird, and she just loves it. And uh, yeah, that, that's how you start actually to train shaping behaviors. Uh, you know, she's lifting her wings and uh, hopefully she will do it more and more, which we need her to do because she needs to exercise them so eventually she can learn how to fly again. Copying a bird's behavior really helps to reduce fear and to build up your relationship. These kinds of behaviors can be all kinds of things. For example, tongue clicks. Foot tapping. And even wing lifts. I do a mean wing lift, which you cannot see in this video though.
Yeah. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> You're such a good bird. Thank you for your presence. You're such a good bird. Now, I'm not terribly keen on birds <laughs> puking up for me, but uh, for now it's great because it shows that, that she trusts me and, and she likes me. But uh, eventually, when I get her paired up with a proper mate, then we will be redirecting all that lovey gooey stuff to her mate and uh, away from me. Lila has quite bad toenails, which need to be clipped, but I am opting against toweling her or forcing her. We're doing it in tiny You're steps. We started yesterday, just taking the tips off of one foot and she's doing fine with it. And eventually, you know, we'll get there, but it's much better for our relationship <laughs> and our trust to do it in tiny steps. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like more information on Lila and her friends, or if you want to learn about training, taming and all kinds of other parrot information, please come and visit my website www thebirdschool.com. This is Anne Castro, creator of The Bird School. Bye-bye.